What's up everybody, welcome back to Toge Masters. Today I'm going to show you how to install the pop and lock tailgate handle. This will allow you to lock your tailgate as well as use the lock and unlock function from your key fob, which will follow the front door's locking mechanisms. Here's a quick run through of all the tools you'll need. Uh, you're going to need a T30 Torx bit, a 10 millimeter socket, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver. Here you can see that handle. It is color matched to the car, so you can buy these in different colors and as well as that keyhole. Here is the auto unlock and lock motor. Uh, this will allow you to lock and unlock the tailgate following the front door locks. And it also comes with a bunch of tie straps uh, as well as these two wire taps. So the first thing we need to use is the T30 Torx bit and we're going to use this to remove all the clips holding on the tailgate cover. With the tailgate cover out of the way, there's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts holding on the original handle. There's also two 10 millimeter bolts holding the camera if you have that option on your tailgate. When removing the handle, you're also going to have to remove the two rods that are attached to both sides of the latch. And to do this, you kind of just twist up these plastic covers and then it'll pop the rods out of the way. First thing we're going to do here with the new handle is to pop out that camera cover. That way we can install the original backup camera to the new handle. Next thing we need to do is modify this rod. All we're going to do is flip it around 180 degrees. Again there are these plastic clips that hold the rod in place so all you have to do is pop it down and twist it out of the way. There's also one more place it holds right here and we just pop that off and now it's free to move around. Once you have the handle removed, you're going to want to remove the plastic trim piece that goes around the original handle and move that down to the new piece. It's held on by a couple of pop clips here, you kind of just pop it out of place. Now this next part I'm trying to install the new handle. That latch mechanism that moves the rods uh, and is actually a lot bigger than the original one which kind of gets in the way of it when you're trying to put this in. What I found useful was to use a Phillips screwdriver and remove that Phillips head screw in there and that way you can slide the mechanism out of the way while you're trying to put the handle back in. 
Here I'm using a Phillips screwdriver to remove that Phillips head. Just keep in mind that there is a spring back there, so be careful when you take this off so the spring doesn't come flying out. Now that the handle is in place, you can go ahead and put back that Phillips screw in there. And this will ensure that the handle functions as intended. I actually ended up pulling this rod back out as I noticed that this part actually needs to be on top and that needs to be on the bottom. So that rod just pops into place and you slide the little plastic clip over it. And this rod actually needs to go up and over this section to make sure it clears. And then we're just gonna put that back into the plastic retaining clip and pop it into place. And there's also another part that you pop where the locking mechanism is shown here in that brown plastic clip. Next up, we're gonna fish the wiring for the auto lock mechanism through the same hole where the rear view camera goes through and we're just gonna follow the wiring throughout the tailgate and tie it together. Once all the wiring is tied up in the tailgate, we can start to close back up the tailgate and put the cover back on uh, using the T30 Torx bit. And here's the wiring connector that comes from the tailgate. Uh, it comes out of the underside of the truck bed. We're gonna tie this up and tuck it under the truck bed for now, but all you really need to do is connect this wire to the passenger front door and you should have the power locking mechanism work. To code your OEM key, all you have to do is put the key in the keyhole, turn clockwise, and that will program the locks. Keep in mind that this only works on the first time, so please don't mess this up. And there you have it, a locking tailgate for your Tacoma. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.